time he took if you were to walk the South Police Department. Okay. okay. And something happened to you with, uh, looks like two of your friends. And so I got to okay. talk to you about that for a little bit. Okay. So I got some questions for you today. Mm -hmm. But uh, just before that, I just want to find out a little bit more about you. So it's, it's Morgan Geyser, is that how you say it? And you were born in 516 of 02? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 12. So was it what you said a birthday not too long ago? Yeah. What'd you do for your birthday? Mommy and I had sushi and cupcakes and daddy. Did you live with your mom and dad or just one? Both. So you and your mom had sushi, where did you have sushi at? My daddy was there too. Uh, at home. You guys bought it some place and brought it home? How'd you like that? That's fun. What's your favorite kind of sushi? I only eat stuff with vegetables. Funny, my daughter just had her 11th birthday, and we had sushi for her birthday, too. You're a year older than her, though, but her birthday was last week, too. Pretty close in age. It's funny that you guys both like sushi. So, we had sushi before that, or is that sort of the first time? So, did you guys get presents for your birthday? Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Just to a Star Trek convention. Where's that at? I don't know. When is it coming up or? Soon. You like Star Trek? Yeah. Who likes Star Trek? Your mom or dad? Uh, both. Really? Did you dress up for uh, Star Trek stuff for Halloween? Mm-hmm. What were you last year? Year before. Tell me both. I was sausage here and then last year. Five? Uh-huh. And last year I was a vampire. That's what the song like a Star Trek related. Nope. Why'd you pick a vampire? Uh because all the other costumes looked a bit showy. I mean, I don't like wearing short sleeves or poofy stuff. Mm. They were too revealing. Ooh, that makes sense. Where are you going to school at? Renee. What grade are you? Uh, sixth grade. How do you do in school? How are your grades? I think I do pretty good. They graduate this year? What? You graduate from school's almost over in a couple weeks here. What do you think? So, did you guys get like ACBs and C's or do you get like oh, yeah, O's? One, two, three. One, two, and threes. That always confused me how they do one, two, threes, and fours. That's what my kids get to. And then, do they do like O's and O pluses and O minuses? I don't know what that is. No, I think it's like outstanding, satisfactory. No. When's your last day of school come out? I don't know. I'm not excited though because I like school. Really? That's good. That's, my daughter's like that. My daughter likes school. She'd go year round. My son doesn't like school at all. He'd rather not have anything to do with school at all. It's actually oh, perfect. You want to try this? See if it'll keep your feet a little bit warmer. And you won't get the, your feet on the dirty floor here. Yeah, maybe just pull over the top there a little bit. Is it bit. like in the operating room? Yeah, a little bit. It's like you're going to be a nurse or a doctor or something here. So you know who the president is right now? What? Do you know who the president of the United States is? Yes. Who's it? Barack Obama. Did you watch the news at all? Only when I'm at my... Grandpa's grandma and niece's house, and that's not very often because they don't live very close. But sometimes grandpa watches the news in the morning. 
What do you remember seeing in the news that's going on lately? Gross things. What's gross things? Uh, kidnapping children and not doing things to them. Remember which time was specific incident? Um, not really. I don't really pay much attention, but it's all gross. It's all gross. What's your teachers doing at school? I have lots of teachers. How about your homeroom teacher? I don't have a homeroom teacher. How about your favorite teacher? Uh, Ms. Leidenbaum. Ms. what? Matt Leidenbaum. Leidenbaum. Matt? Ms. Leidenbaum. Ms. Why do you like her? Because she's nice. What subject does she teach you? Reading and writing. Do you know where you're at right now? What? Do you know where you are right now? Uh, not really. Where do you think you are? At a police station. Do you want to get a week it is? It's Saturday. You know what the number is? You know what month it is? Uh, May. Do you know what number? Five. What year? 2014. So, today they asked me to come in and talk to you a little bit mm -hmm. about what's been going on with you. So it seems like you and your friends have something that happened this morning, and I'm not sure how far back that went. So i got to try to get an understanding of sort of about what's all going on here with your friends. Okay? So but before I do that, i got to read you a couple questions. Okay. Okay? Have you ever had your rights read to you before? Yes. What was that for? Uh, earlier today, when I was in a car. With the police officer. Like, I don't know, like 20 minutes ago. Did you understand the reason? Yeah. Anisha had already told me that. Anisha told you? Uh huh. Is there any that you didn't know what they were? Any questions about them? So they just gotta fill this out here. And I'm gonna answer some questions and ask you to sign something for me. Okay? Why did I have to sign? Just so that you know that you sort of understood it. I mean, you're starting to be a little bit older here, and so we know that we're talking about the same thing. So I. Don't try to switch something and say, well, oh, no, I really asked you something different that wasn't really what we talked about. So it's just sort of you acknowledging, yeah, this is what I said to you, and this is what I understand. Did you read and write okay? What? Did you read and write? Did you do Christopher printing? I don't know cursive. I wasn't paying attention, I don't think. I was, but I was really bad at it, so then I stopped paying attention when we got to. And... I think it was in third grade. Do you want to see the airport in? Uh, Oregon? Yeah. No. Waukesha, Milwaukee, you know what has to No. Is it around here, you think? Mm -hmm. So is there, these are your rights that you got read before. It says you got the right to remain silent. That basically means if you don't want to talk, you don't have to. If you decide to give up that right, anything you may say may be used against you in courts. You have the right to consult with an attorney, have an attorney present during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the courts. Understanding these rights, you will sit down and talk to me about today. 
Can you do me a favor and initial right there and sign right there? Yeah. Yeah. Is that how you hold the pen? Yeah. No way. Can you swap your writer? No. Should I write my name? Yeah, Morgan. Kaiser. Can you put your initials right there in LG? Right up by the S. And I'm going to sign it here too so we both know that we're talking about the same piece of paper. So we can say it's just something different later. So what's going on with you? Why do you think you're here today? Um, because I need some to run off after hurting Bella. Tell me what happened with Bella. Um, what do you mean? Tell me what happened when we first woke up this morning. Um. Let me just start up something about your day ones. Anisha and I woke up at like 5.30 in the morning. And it was before Bella, so we went downstairs and we took quizzes on Quota. Mm -hmm. And they were, um, they were really weird. It was like, what? On what website? Quotav.com. Quotav? Uh huh, it's a quiz website. Is that Q U? O T E M A V. So you're taking quizzes, and then what happened? Um, and then Bella woke up and came downstairs by us. And then we took more quizzes with her this time. And then my mom woke up. And she gave us donuts and strawberries. And my brother was at the table too and he was eating and she was standing because we only have a, enough room for four people at our table. And then we went upstairs and played with Killy Buddy. Oh, we're all upstairs. Um, Bella and Isha and I. Good. And then we played dress up and I dressed up as Dana and um, Anisha dressed up as, she called it a prostitute. It was sort of inappropriate. Where'd you find the clothes? They were mine. That I collected over the years from like concerts and stuff and Halloween. And Bella was a princess. And then Anissa suggested that we get changed. And then um, when Bella went to get changed, we sat and waited for her to finish. And then it was Anissa's turn. And so I had, so then Bella found a granola bar that Anissa had. So I took it and I opened it and then I put it in the silly putty and then she came back and she thought it was funny and then she threw the silly putty at the ceiling and she was like, wait, 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 it's sticky now and then since it was sticky now, we had to get it off of the ceiling, I think. And then I had to get changed out of my costume and, uh, um, then I need that to go to the bathroom, so she came in the bathroom and I got changed in the shower, and then she insisted on applying lipstick. And then we Wait, got, you saw uh, and then I was wearing lipstick, and she was wearing lipstick. Mm-hmm. And then what happened? And then we came back upstairs, and we played with my cat. And then Anisha told me to grab my things and because we it was time to go to the park. And then we took Bella to the park with us. So the three you went to the park? Mm-hmm. 
won't take back any of it. You won't take it back because it's all the no. truth? It's all the truth. And that's what's important here is to tell the truth. I know. One time I, one time I got suspended because they accidentally brought a hammer to school. Why'd you bring the hammer to school? Because I was cleaning my room and I took it in my backpack. So I know that it's important to tell the truth. How long ago was that? A while ago. It was this year, though. <clears throat> but it was an accident. I thought you should know. Like how earlier this year? At the beginning. So I was you use a hammer to hurt somebody? Or? Oh, no. It was an accident. An accident? We've been over it. I went over it with the principal. I figure you have access to all those files if you need more information, so I might just tell you. You're a pretty smart girl. I read a lot of books about things like this in the library. What kind of books do you read? I read a lot of books. I read medical dictionaries, I read Harry Potter, I read Star Trek books, I read just random books that I get from um, this one section about like these things. So, you came back a little bit, so what? I knew she told you that somebody told her or that, or that that it was necessary to kill. I was confused a little bit. What do you mean you're confused? I didn't really understand what we were doing, but I just, I was the one who, um, final kill. I don't know if she's alive, though. She's, she's alive. She's crying. Good. What do you mean you were confused? I mean, I didn't know exactly why we were. I really didn't want to make any so mad. It's um hard enough to make friends. I don't want to lose them over something like this. And I don't know. I didn't know what what happened if I didn't like agree and it was it's our fault. And she should be what we take full responsibility. So you decided a while 
go to bed and sleep overnight that this is what you do it? Yeah. Why do you think it was your sleep overnight that your sleep Because sleeping? it was, we were all, we would all be together. It was a flawless plan, actually. I don't know exactly why, though. So when you guys got the knife from your mom's house, you guys ended up going to the park, yeah. and then you guys went down by the woods. Why did you guys go over by the woods? Because we knew what we had to do. We led her there and tricked her. The last thing she said was me, to, to me was, I trusted you. And then she said, I hate you. And then we lied to her, and Lisa said that she'd go get help. I didn't have anything to do with the lying, Mom. Well, that was all on Lisa. She said we were going to go get help. How did you trick her to get down there? We said that we were going to go bird watching. People who trust you become very gullible. And it was sort of sad. Not like offensive. Well, that's sad, but it was sad to do this. So you guys told me you were going on there to bird watch, and then what happened? And then we said that we were going to play hide and seek, and then I said jumped her, and then it was like, it happened really fast, I keep trying to forget. So you were playing hide and seek? Mm -hmm. Because normally we like playing hide and seek, because hide and seek's a fun game. I like hiding. So you yeah, and then Alicia jumped her? Mm-hmm. She said Morgan, now. Well, actually she said Kitty, because our code names for each other were Scorpion and Kitty. She was Scorpion because she tends to be aggressive, things like that. So she said Kitty now, and what did that mean? Um, my name was Kitty because, um, she sort of, I have four cats at home, and she says that I act like a cat sometimes. I so when she know. said Kitty now, what did she do? Then we stabbed her. Who, had, who stabbed her first? I think, um, when you stabbed her first, and then I continued, and then... And she was like, Morgan, make sure she doesn't escape. And then it was like, uh. So you think that it was Anisha first? Mm hmm. You sure? Yeah. Not really. Sort of confusing because I've been trying to block out the screams all day. So how many times? So then how did you get the knife from Anisha? She sort of just shoved it into my hand, and there it was. And then I didn't know what I did. It was it sort of just happened. It didn't feel like anything. It was like air. So she put the knife in your hand, and what'd you do? I just continued to. You know what happened, didn't you? I really don't. Somebody else is talking to her. They continue to stab her? Mm-hmm. And then we decided that, and then Anissa said that it was enough, and then Bella was like, I can't see, I can't see, and then I said, I'm sorry. This had to happen. And she was like, why? And then I, I said that I was just, it was necessary. I can't. Can't explain why. Please don't cut off my head. Nobody's gonna cut off your head. So I have to you guys how many times do you think you stabbed her? I don't know. It happened very quickly. All I heard was screaming. How many times did you guess? And 
then it was sort of we ran and then. Where'd you run to? We just ran forward. The rollers go forward until you get out of Waukesha. So you ran through the woods or did you run up the road? We ran up the road. We were running and then we hid in tall, very tall grass. Not the tall grass that, I, that we were found in. And then these police officers showed up, so of course we hid. So you ran up the road, like Big Bend Road? Mm hmm To where? To the tall grass that they were looking for us in. Not the ones they found us in, but like the wheat. The wheat grass stuff and by all the trees. Like by your house more? I don't know. Did you see other police looking for you today besides the one that eventually found you? Um, we saw the people by where the trees and the tall grass were. Like police okay, officers? First, it was one police officer at first. So long and we sort of hid for a while on the ground. They didn't see us. Surprisingly. Off the road? Yeah. We just kept going forward and forward and forward until. So that when you ran that time after you saw the police officer, did you run through the like the woods and swamp behind Walgreens? We just kept going forward. Forward? Mm -hmm. Did you know which way you went then? What else did you see on your... Well, you just said that we had to go to Walmart to refill our water bottles, and we did. Which Walmart? I don't know. Is it like a food store one? No. The, the one over there? The huge one. On West Avenue? Mm hmm So we refilled our water bottles and went to the bathroom and washed the blood off our hands. Well, I regret giving you this information later. You know, this information is going to be used to try to get you some help so we, you don't have to hear those screams and don't have to worry about hurting anybody anymore. Okay. That's the goal here, okay? So we got to figure out how we're going to do that. So the, is it the Walmart over by PDQ? You know where that's at? Mm -hmm. Or you think that's the one you went to? Sure, I don't know. You don't know? Is there anything else you remember that was around there? No, I just remember that we went forward and forward and forward, and then we passed a bunch of buildings, and we went through downtown Waukesha, we went everywhere, and actually we were singing the whole time. We just turned singing songs to each other. We were surprisingly calm, actually. It was like we hadn't just killed someone, or thought that we killed someone or stabbed someone. So how did you guys, did you guys get a ride from anybody or you guys just kept walking? No, we got a, we got there by ourselves. Do you remember walking around the railroad tracks or a street? We walked across the railroad tracks one time and we went, we went into a few like ditches with, with forests and trees. And I remember we tried to find Slenderman. Try to find who? Slender. Who's Slenderman? He's, um... He's a this tall, faceless man who preys on children. Because we were by a forest and we couldn't help ourselves. So is it a tall, faceless man? Mm-hmm. Why aren't you with him? What? Why aren't you with him? Because Anissa said he could help us. I sort of thought that he might kill us if we did find him, though, because he has a tendency to do that. Have you ever met him? No. We've never seen him. Who tells you about him? He's everywhere. How do you know him? Because I've read so many things about him. Why did you read so far? It's called Creepy Pasta. Lisa thinks he's real, and she also thinks Jack the Killer is real because there's somebody in Milwaukee who's called the Smiley Face Killer, and she thinks that Jack the Killer is him. And then there was. Where did you look at the creepy one? Creepy pasta. Well, I think that's all the website. Uh huh. It's called Creepy Pasta Wikia. Wait, Creepy Pasta dot Wikia dot dot something. So you guys just kept going forward until the police stopped you? Mm hmm Do you know what happened the night after the got stabbed? I put it back in the bag and walked. Did you clean it all? Uh, not really. I sort of wiped it 
you're also my jacket. It was weird. I felt no remorse. I thought I would. Because I still have this idea in my head that it was necessary. So you were being guilty as weird that you did feel your remorse? Mm -hmm. I actually felt nothing. And you said, how do you think for her? But she said she was scared. And she wondered what we'd gotten ourselves into this time. The last time we'd gotten ourselves into something was because avoiding Devin on our bus stop. He'd done a few things. He'd just, I could tell you later if he needed to know. But the last time we'd really gotten ourselves into trouble was when he said that he had, that he'd raped a lady and now he has a rape baby and then he asked us if we wanted to be next. And then I slapped him really hard. How old is Devin? He's one year older than us. Has anybody ever touched you or hurt you or done anything to you? Well, Devin might have. He's... He used to shove me into walls and say, no teachers now, Mom. Just like shoving you or does he touch you in other ways, too? He said that he wanted to shank me in the boobs. Did he ever touch you in the privates at all? Once. But it was just like this. It wasn't so on purpose. He used to be all creepy and smell my hair and stuff. And then the dean of students put a restricting, restraining order on the both of us because, well, he broke my favorite Ninja Turtle hat, so I might have said a few very hurtful things to him. And then he shoved me into a wall in front of a bunch of teachers. So then he wasn't allowed to touch me anymore. Let's say, so I don't want anybody to be able to hurt you, right? Nobody really ever hurts me. That's good. So what did you think was going to happen after you stabbed uh, Peyton? I don't really know. I figured that I'd get in trouble eventually, though. Because, um... Mommy always says that whatever you do catches up to you eventually. And it did. Did you guys think about what would happen to you? I did. Lisa didn't seem to think anything would happen. One time she said, can we go home yet? And then I said, no, we're going to get arrested if we go home. And then she said, oh, yeah, I forgot. Thanks, Morgan. And then I said, okay. And then I think we went into a store. I don't know what store it was. But we refilled our water bottles again, and that was like half an hour before you found us. I think she happened to somebody that stabbed somebody else. I expect that I'd either get put in some sort of a weird place, or I expected I'd either get put in prison or in the same asylum. I didn't know what to expect. I don't think I'm insane, though. You ever thought about hurting yourself? I'm planning to make myself numb to pain on command. What does that mean? Vulcan mind tricks. So you ever try to hurt yourself? Not really. Sometimes I do. What do you mean? Most of the time it's not even on purpose. What do you mean by hurt yourself? Well, I just fall down the stairs a lot, and sometimes I just, like, do, do this, and I accidentally, like, do this instead of this or something. Like... Do you ever try to take any pills or stay yourself or kill yourself? Unnecessary pills? Yeah. I recently stopped taking a necessary pill. What was that? It was, like, prednisone or something like that. 
It was for my asthma because it was really bad. My parents made me stay home from school. So have you guys thought about hurting anybody else or just don't want to? Uh, sometimes I need to slap people in the face for no reason, like me. How about stabbing people? You ever thought about stabbing anybody else? Only just joking, me. <laughs> Not seriously, though. So not really or not seriously? Not really. I wanted to hurt people before, but they're not nice to me, so they deserve it. But Bella's nice to you. Why did you want to hurt her? Because it was necessary. Why was it necessary? I don't know. So who's been your friend? Who do you know longer, Anissa? Or Bella? Katie. Who's Katie? She was my friend, but then she left. Why did Katie leave? Because she had to move. What does Katie have to do with this? She was my friend for the longest. She was my friend before any of them. But out of the two, I've known Bella the longest. So why did you decide to stay at Bella? It was necessary. Did you feel bad? Did you just stab one of your best friends? I thought about it, but then I decided that the Mars would get me nowhere. It's easier to live without regrets if you can just decide that you don't want to feel. Somebody had to try to start a fire at Joe's. No. 
no. basement. No. What are you talking about? Was, did something like that happen recently? Uh, I accidentally uh, burnt a hole in my carpet because I knocked my lamp over, but that was an accident. I didn't even know it was knocked over. Is that what you mean? No, I thought I heard something about maybe a fire at home in your basement. No, my cats live in the basement. I would never hurt them. I love my cats. Have you ever killed anything else, any animals or anything? Not, on ten not intentionally. What do you mean intentionally? Katie and I accidentally sort of, well, sort of killed my fish. Because Katie jumped in, um, it was sure to my fault that I didn't tell her that there was no, like, great thing. So she gave him way too much food and then he got all constipated and stuff. And then he got depressed and he always sat at the bottom of the tank like this. And then he died. That's too bad. We were happy when he was dead because he always looked miserable. Did she get a little scratch in your chin there? You know what that's from? Which where? Right here, where you get a little scratch. You went over here. We did a lot of running through trees. So. Is there one more right here, too? Okay. I don't really. Do you want water or something to drink? No. I'm going to take a. I'll be right back. I gotta go do something back in a minute. Can I get you anything? Oh, well, no. Anything to eat or drink or the bathroom? I'm not hungry.
because I had a sleepover with her one time, and I don't like sleeping in sleepovers at all. And all of my friends like sleep and need sleep for some reason. But um, so then she started like barking out of bed, and then I was putting silly putty on her pillow and things. It can be a mini. So then, has it worked all the dog chain games? So did you guys? I didn't even try. I mean, did you even try? That was just what well, I guess talked about it. I tricked Denise into falling asleep, telling her that I wake up at 2 in the morning so that she could kill Bella. I wanted to give her at least one more morning. Who did you want to give one more morning to? Bella. And I didn't think it would work. I didn't think any of this would work from the start. Things like this never work out. But I'm glad I'm hurt and... You wanted to give Bella one more day? I wanted to see if I could put it off forever, but it didn't seem to work out like that. So... What I did was, Anissa wasn't very happy when she didn't wake up at 2 in the morning and she woke up at 5.30 instead, which was sort of because I might have woken her up a little bit because I don't like not having to talk to people. If there are people that I can talk to, it's fun to talk to them. But, uh, so I woke her up and then I laid on the and then she was like, what are you going to do now? So then, just, so then, what was your next plan after that? Oh, what we did. What did you do next? I already told you. What was that? Stab, 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 stab. Did you try to stay over before that? No. Did you guys go to the park? Yes. What happened at the park? In the park, we played and she went on the swing and I was in the bathroom. What happened in the bathroom? I was singing. Singing and what else? Singing. Did you guys think about stabbing her there? I think I did. I didn't think it would work. What was the plan there? I'm not so sure. Anissa came up with several plans. It was hard to keep track. Did you try to hurt her there at all? No. Did you pull her head at all? I knew she did. What happened there? I don't know. She said she tried to knock her out. Did you see that? No, I was busy. Just doing what? Searching the bathroom and singing. Because the teacher told me to sing. By the trees at the dead end. And what'd you do there? Stabby, stab, 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 stab. Hide and seek. What's that? I already told you. You guys are playing hide and seek? Mm -hmm. How did that work? It didn't work 
very well because Bella, I don't think Mike's going to speak. So what were you doing? So you told me before that you were going to do bird watching. Was that the truth or was that? Um, yeah, so we did tell her that we were going to go bird watching. It was like a conducting of some birds. And then we were like, okay, whatever. She wasn't in a very good mood, though. I think she thought initially she was replacing her. Because she kept pouting whenever I usually talk.
Okay, sorry about that. So it needs to say you just had to do this? Do you know why? Or in your dreams or on the computer? 
not on the computer because um, he doesn't like technology. Because it doesn't work around him. Why do you need to know about Slenderman? Because I think Slenderman might have something to do with, with what's going on with you today. Oh. Did Bella say anything when you guys said you were stabbing her? Um. She said two things, but it was afterwards. She said, I trusted you, and she said, I hate you. And she kept whispering, I can't see over and over and over and over again. I can still hear it. I see it as I close my eyes. It was really weird. writing some notes down about what you told me on a piece of paper here and then I'm going to go over with you and, and read to you. Make sure it's all okay. true. Okay. I don't, well, I don't think that you're going to prison, and I don't think you're going to rot and die either. Um, you probably got to have somebody talk to you and try to figure out what the best circumstances for you to make sure that you don't have to um, you take a piece in.
your birthday was on the 16th, but you had your party yesterday? Yeah. You sleep over? Last year, too. It was more fun last year, though, obviously. What did you do last night? Huh? What did you guys do yesterday after school? Um, Bella's mom is kind of the jerk. So you had two friends come over? Uh huh. But, um, so there was Anissa? Anissa and Bella. So is that, is Bella her real name or is this short for something? Um, is, the real name is Peyton is Bella Rainflinger. But in, like, first grade or something, there were two Peytons and one was a boy, so he had to keep his name, and she had to go mm -hmm. by Bella. So her second name is the middle name is Isabella. Do you know what Anissa's last name? Liar. Lisa Wire and Payton. Mm -hmm. Put in brackets your Bella. What's your last name? Lightner.
Thank you. Before you said it was necessary, mm -hmm. why was it necessary? Because
No. For this morning. This morning. Okay. I need to search for the other plan. Thank you. 
name of the perk? You guys played there for a while, or? Mm -hmm. playing is fun. You guys live in the bathroom? Yeah. After there. I need to try to knock Bella out. Bella got all mad and stuff. But, and I was pacing in circles. She was on so three minutes. Why did you guys pick the bathroom to do it? I didn't pick it, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess it is closed off in the rest of the park, but it would be very, very easy to get there. Yeah. 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 Yeah
he stabbed her. Did you have a knife first, or did she? Did it I have the right not to go into detail about it if I don't want to. Okay. Before you said you didn't remember, you remember you just told to me. I don't really remember. It happened really, really fast. Mm-hmm. 
because we saw police, and then they came closer, so we just ran. I don't know they didn't see us, though. I tripped. Where were you when you saw the police? In a field of, like, tall, winky grass and trees. In a street corner. Like how far in was the street court keep going in? I don't know. Away from uh, We just ran. Yeah. And eventually we reached it and we were like, oh my goodness, hiding spot. Let's hide here. You guys walked or you guys were running? We were walking because we didn't want to look suspicious. We were already covered in blood, which looked suspicious, so we didn't run. So then you guys went to Walmart to fill up the water bottles and clean up? Um, yeah. Thank you. 
results? Um, no. Except for later, we stopped at a different store to pull up our water bottles again. What kind of story? I don't know. It was a furniture store. When you guys picked up, there is the purse. And what was inside the purse? I don't remember what was all inside the purse. We put pictures of our family inside the purse because Anissa said we might never ever get to come back. I didn't like that idea because I would have missed my daddy. Which knife? The only knife we had. Knife that you guys stabbed yep. the devil with? I accidentally put holes on me. I'm sorry. My toes. Um, water. I think I'm going to I'm sorry you for all this trouble, sir. No, no, you know, I'm changing my side. I think that you need some help, somebody to talk to, and try to work out some of these things that you got going on. What do you mean? Thinking about what does he call this guy? Mr. Slim? Slenderman? Slenderman. I mean, those thoughts probably aren't real. And to think about stabbing one of your very good friends probably isn't the best thoughts to be having. Right? Uh, probably not. So you know that that's wrong to do, right? Yes, no, maybe. But people have lots of people who should be on your man. But how about saying your friend? Do you think that's right or wrong? Probably wrong. If it were right, it wouldn't be. That's right. You can't go around stabbing people, so that's why I think that maybe you got to get to talk to somebody to get some of these. 
these things with us so you won't go around doing this anymore. Stab someone if they try to stab you first. If it's self defense. Then in some situations. But do you think that that's what happened here? Oh no. I'm just wondering. Because I think like eight months ago, Devin and I were arguing about whether or not it was legal to stop the defense. I'm not planning on getting in any of those situations. Just so you're Why did you have the gloves on? Because I always wear the gloves. 
Okay. Uh, then we started, I wrote, this was unintentional. Then we started walking. We walked past a cemetery. Later we stopped at a furniture store to fill up our water bottles again. And we wandered around for another 30 minutes. And she wanted to sit in the grass. And I said it was too obvious that we would get caught. The police phoned us a short time later. When we got arrested, I had a purse, which we had pictures in it in case we never saw. Should be our family. Again, the knife we stabbed the fellow with was inside of the purse. Is everything that I just read to you true, correct? Yes. Is there anything that you want to add or change? No. No? Okay. Do you want to read this over? No, you just read it to me. Okay. Do you want to look over the pages then and sign the bottom of each one? Put your name on the bottom. Three pages here. Do you want to read it over and then sign three times next to the X? And I'm going to have you just put your initials right there. Write your name there, write your name there, and write your name there.
More than seven years after being charged, one of two teenagers sentenced in the slender man stabbing is set to go free. Wire was just 12 when she and her friend Morgan Geyser lured Peyton Leitner to the woods in Waukesha, where Wire encouraged Geyser to stab Leitner in order to please the fictional character Slender Man. Now 19 years old, Anissa Wire will have assistance and restrictions on the outside. Those include a case manager to monitor medication for psychiatric care, monitored internet use, no social media, and no contact with the victim or her family. Waukesha police say Wire's movement will also be restricted by 24-7 GPS monitoring. If she goes too close to the victim's home, workplace, or location of the attack, it will trigger an alert and police will pick her up for violating the terms of her release. The court decided, based on mental health reviews, that Wire could leave.